Imagine a big, beautiful, empty land with mountains, forests, lakes, animals, and fish, but no people. This was America 1,600 years ago. Around that time, the first people arrived in Alaska from Asia. They traveled south and became the Native Americans of North America. These early people became the Maya, Aztecs, Inca, and other groups in Central and South America. Some Inuit moved to Canada. The Native Americans lived in America for thousands of years. But in the 16th century, Europeans began to arrive. Soon after, the Europeans brought enslaved people from Africa. America started to fill with people speaking different languages. By the middle of the 20th century, the land was full. Today, there are just three countries in North America, Canada, Mexico, and the USA. In the United States, over 300 million people live in 50 states. About 67% are white, 13% Hispanic, 13% black, 4% Asian, and 1% Native American. Most people speak English, though not the same as in Britain. Many Americans also speak Spanish as their first language. How was the USA born? How did it grow? This book will answer these questions and more as we journey through American history. Chapter 1. The Pilgrim Fathers The name America comes from an Italian named Amerigo Vespucci who sailed to South America between 1499 and 1502. But Vespucci was not the first European to make the journey across the Atlantic. The Vikings reached Canada around A.D. 1000. In 1492, Christopher Columbus, an Italian explorer, reached the Caribbean while trying to find a sea route to India. Columbus called the Native Americans Indians because he thought he had arrived in India. He shared his adventures back in Europe. Other explorers followed Columbus across the Atlantic. Europeans came to fish the rich seas of America, but soon they wanted more. In the 17th century, the French settled in Quebec, the Dutch in New York, and the British in Virginia and New England. Two different groups of English settlers came to America. The first group started the colony of Jamestown in Virginia in 1607. They hoped to find gold, but life was hard. There was very little food, and many settlers died during the first winter. Then Pocahontas, the daughter of a Native American chief, helped Captain John Smith and the English settlers survive. Pocahontas later married John Rolfe and went to England. Tobacco saved Jamestown. It was easy to grow in Virginia. Smoking became fashionable in Europe, and the colony prospered by selling tobacco. They soon started bringing enslaved people from Africa. John Smith traveled north in 1614 to explore what he called New England. When he returned to London, he spoke about how good the area was. In 1620, another group of English settlers arrived in Plymouth, Massachusetts. These settlers are known as the Pilgrims. The Pilgrims had strong religious beliefs and did not agree with the Church of England. They sailed to America on a ship called the Mayflower. They farmed the land, traded animal skins, and believed that all people were equal, so they did not have enslaved people. The pilgrims faced hunger and illness. Nearly half of them died in the first year, but they got help from Native Americans. Squanto, a Native American who spoke English, taught the pilgrims how to hunt and grow corn. He had lived in England for some time. In the autumn of 1621, the pilgrims held a big feast to celebrate their first successful harvest. This became known as Thanksgiving. Americans still celebrate Thanksgiving today. On the fourth Thursday of November, it is one of the most important holidays of the year. 
On Thanksgiving, families come together to eat a large dinner. Turkey and pumpkin pie are two traditional foods from that first celebration. Chapter 2 The War of Independence In the 17th and 18th centuries, more British settlers came to North America, starting colonies like Maryland, Rhode Island, and Pennsylvania. By 1770, there were 13 British colonies along the east coast of North America. They were all governed by Britain, which was far away. The colonists grew unhappy about high taxes from Britain. In 1773, they protested by throwing tea into the sea at Boston. This was the Boston Tea Party. The British government was angry. And in April 1775, American colonists fought British soldiers at Lexington and conquered in Massachusetts. The Americans won, and the British had to retreat to Boston. The Battle of Bunker Hill soon followed, making it clear that war had begun. George Washington, a wealthy farmer from Virginia, was chosen to lead the American army. He was known for his honesty. In 1776, Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence, stating that King George III had not allowed his people their rights. The Declaration claimed the right to life freedom, and happiness. The 4th of July became Independence Day, now an important American holiday. The war continued until 1781, when the Americans finally defeated the British. Two years later, they were free to govern themselves. In 1789, George Washington became the first President of the United States. Though he wanted a quiet life, he served until 1797. The name United States of America was first used at the time of independence. The original 13 colonies became the first 13 states. In 1803, President Jefferson bought land from France, making the U.S. five times larger. This area was called the Louisiana Purchase. Jefferson sent Lewis and Clark to explore this new land, traveling 13,000 kilometers across rivers, mountains, and wilderness. In 1819, the U.S. bought Florida from Spain, doubling its size again. By 1848, the country reached from the Atlantic to the Pacific. In 1867, the U.S. purchased Alaska from Russia. And in 1959, Hawaii became the 50th state. The American flag now has 50 stars. The Stars and Stripes flag symbolizes the growth of the U.S. The original 13 stripes represent the first states. And new stars were added for each new state.